I didn't think this through. I really didn't think this through. <laughs> this is not a good look. Um, that is genius. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually inspired by Steph Toms. I'm sure you guys know who she is already, but if you don't, then you should go check out her channel because she's great. I saw her do this video where she asked her followers for their most used and like well-loved and tested beauty hacks and she tried them out in a video and that is what I'm gonna be doing today. So I asked you guys over on my Twitter and my Instagram if you're not following me over there. My Instagram is just at Soph and my Twitter is at Soph Does Life. And I asked you guys for some of your like tried and tested beauty hacks that you swear by. And I have picked out my top 10. If you missed out on this video, please let me know down below in the comments what your favorite beauty hack is that you think other people might not know about. And if you aren't already subscribed, I would love it if you subscribe. If I mean, if you like this video, if you don't like this video, that's fine. Thanks for watching anyway. And also remember to give this a big thumbs up because it really helps me out and let's just dive in because I've got some ice cubes and they're melting. Also most of my fake tans come off. This is probably the palest I've been on camera in about a year. Right so Theodora, wait Theodora Radoy and they have said massaging your face with an ice cube in the morning it wakes you up and reduces redness. I've never put ice on my face before. I kind of have a really overwhelming urge to eat these ice cubes. Am I just a weirdo or is there other people out there that really enjoy crunching ice cubes? Um, hang on, how am I supposed to hold this? Isn't it gonna be like really cold? Let's get a tissue. Actually, I could probably hold it. Ha oh, ha, oh, it's so cold. Oh my God, it's, oh, oh, oh dear, it's dripping. It's dripping everywhere. It's dripping all into my lap. It's dripping on my phone. I didn't think this through. I really didn't think this through. Oh no. Okay, my fingers are going numb. Oh, oh, oh my god, this is so cold. Obviously it's cold, it's ice, but oh my god, I did not expect this. <laughs> it's just making my eyes water. Okay, um, I also didn't think of where I'm gonna put this and how I'm gonna dry my face. Whew. Wow, that was a whirlwind. Um, my face still feels freezing cold. That felt so refreshing though. Oh my God, I kind of want to put it under my eyes. I wasn't expecting it to melt like that, but obviously it's going to because my face is like a lot warmer, but... Oh. Oh my god, that feels so nice. That actually feels amazing. It's freezing, but you kind of get used to it. I now look insane. Good thing is, I've got some ice left over that I didn't use. It actually feels so refreshed. I think it did temporarily, like it has made me a bit red, but obviously that's gonna go down. But wow, I mean, it does kind of feel like everything has just gone <laughs> Like my skin definitely feels a little bit tighter. Well, if you want something to wake you up in the morning, I would definitely recommend that because wow, that was intense. You know what I think would probably be better is just getting one of those roller things that you can put in the fridge and then just roll it over your face. Also as well, you can get those ice cubes that are like plastic ice cubes. I do have some of those, but I wanted to use proper ice. The next hack comes from Harriet BFBL and she has said E45 as primer, a little bit greasy, but smooths out dry patches and powders down well. So if you didn't know already, E45 cream is a treatment cream for dry skin. I actually use this on my eczema when my eyes flare up and today we're going to be using this as primer. I know that with this stuff a little bit goes a long way so I'm not going to take too much. It's just like a thick white cream. Yeah the main thing about this one is it would probably be better if you had dry skin. I'm not too sure why I'm trying it but I just was really curious to see if my makeup goes on nicely over the top of it. Yeah, so it's definitely a bit greasy, but we will see how the rest of my makeup applies over the top of that. Feels nice though, my skin feels really moisturized. So next we're moving on to brows, and I actually had a couple of you recommend the same hack for eyebrows. So Amelia Lucy uh, or Mila on Twitter said, I honestly just put a block of color on my eyebrows carelessly, then carve them out. And then same on Instagram, it's me, Evelyn says, I use an eyeshadow with a fluffy brush for the brows and clean it up with a baby wipe. And I did also see a couple of people suggest this and I've also seen a girl on TikTok do this where she literally just like coloured in her eyebrows with eyeshadow really really messily and then carved them out of concealer after. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I figured it would work best with an eyebrow powder because you can like blend it with an eyeshadow brush. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be using the same kit that I used in my previous video just because there's a different range of like colors in here that I can use. I'm gonna take this little, uh, what is this? It's a Lily England 120 brush and it's a smoky sort of eyeshadow pencil brush. I'm gonna dip into this shade first and I'm just gonna brush this 
lightly over the front part of my eyebrows. And then I'm gonna take the darker brown color through the end of my brows just to get that nice gradient effect. Surely it's just quicker to fill them in normally. I mean, like, I, well, I, could, I could just leave them like this. What, what, do we, what do we think? The only trouble is with my eyebrows, I normally draw in little brush strokes. Whereas with this technique, you can't quite do that. <laughs> how is this gonna happen? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going in with my concealer. I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way. And we're gonna use a small brush and I'm gonna clean up these brows. All my eyebrows are going in different directions now though. It kind of just looks like a slug. What do we think? Oh, I don't know. I would never normally do my, I never normally do my eyebrows before my foundation, just because I don't really like them to look too carved out anymore. Oh my God. This is such a throwback on how I used to do my eyebrows with brow pomade. Um, I'm gonna try and do some little strokes. I'm sure it does work for a lot of people, but I'm just not feeling it. Also, that took me about 10 minutes. My eyebrows normally take about 60 seconds. They're just a bit too sculpted for my liking. But technically it did work. It was just very time consuming. The next hack comes from Vicky I Dobson on Twitter. And she has said, cream contour, highlighter and blush under your foundation makes your base look more natural and flawless. I think this is the one that I might have tried once before. So I have these two sticks from Nude Sticks. These are the Nudies and the Nudies Matte All Over Face Sticks. I've got Bondi Bay for my bronzer and body language for the blush. I'm gonna go a little bit ham just because it is going under my foundation. <laughs> this is not a good look. So we'll do bronzer first. God, I need to try and avoid getting my eyebrows in the mix and also my hair. I don't actually normally contour my jaw, so I'm not too sure what I'm doing. I thought it'd be fun for the video. <laughs> well, this looks really bad. I don't think I picked the right shade. Like this is much more of a bronzer shade than a contour shade, but it's okay. We're going to put foundation over the top of it and see what happens. I'm just going to do the blush. And then for my cream highlighter, I'm using the Imagination and Lottie London palette. And I'm going to take this shade here. Actually, I'm going to mix the shade with the lighter pink. And I guess let's put this on my brow bone, my nose. That was way too much. Cupid's bow, let's put a little bit on the chin. Lovely. Then for the next step for my foundation, I've got another hack, which I'm gonna be trying in combination with this. This one comes from Steffi's Art on Instagram. She's amazing, she's so talented. And she has said, dry beauty blender. Coverage is insane no matter what foundation you use. So instead of going to wet my beauty blender today, we're going in dry. <laughs> I was gonna use my Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation that I've been using most days recently. However, I think this might be a little bit dark at the moment. So I'm gonna take this one instead which is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. I haven't used this in ages. Okay, immediately. Uh, it is probably giving me more coverage than this foundation usually would. However, I think the Beauty Blender is just soaking up way more product. So I feel like I'm gonna need to go in with another layer. You know what? You can kind of still see the cream products underneath. It's very subtle, but you can still see them. Like, I think you can still see that on my nose. Wow, this foundation is so glowy though. That is the glowiest foundation I've used in a long time. The Dry Beauty Blender actually worked surprisingly well. However, yeah, it definitely did suck up more of the products, I think. And you still can very subtly see that cream contour underneath and on my nose. I think once I've powdered a lot of that kind of contouredness is probably gonna go away. But if it works for you, that is totally fine and that's really good. I'm glad that it works for you. The next hack is a concealer one. I actually got a couple different people tell me this. So we've got Julie Christine on Twitter saying, I use Robert Welsh's makeup tip for under eye concealer, where you basically put two dots in the inner corner by your nose and one on the outer corner and pat it with your finger to blend. It looks so much better on me than any other concealer technique I've tried. And again, from Zainab or Midnight Train 97 on Twitter, they have said, put 
putting a dot of brighter concealer in the inner and outer corners of my eyes and then a concealer my shade in the center of the under eyes and blending out with my fingers to achieve a more natural brightened under eye area. So everyone seems to be going for Robert Welsh's concealer hack. I do really like Robert Welsh, I think he's awesome. So I'm gonna use the NYX Born to Glow concealer in Fair. So I'm putting one dot here one dot on the outer corner. And then I'm taking my Too Faced Born This Way, which is slightly darker, and I'm just gonna put a tiny dot in the center of my under eye, which is way less concealer than I would normally use. And I'm gonna blend this with my finger. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> well, that was easy. Um, okay, that looks beautiful. I used such a small amount, but that has actually worked really nicely at brightening up my under eyes. I would definitely do that again. Then another trick that quite a few people suggested for concealer on any blemishes, they said to leave your concealer on your blemishes for a little bit before blending it out. So this one comes from Soph or Faye Tozers on Twitter. And she said, from Jackie Ina, leaving your concealer to partly dry before blending it out gives such good coverage. And then Hayley Cooper on Instagram says, leaving your concealer for 30 seconds to one minute before blending it out. Oh, I feel like most of my face is pretty much covered though. Not sure if you can see down here. I do have a few little blemish scars. In the meantime, I'm just gonna set my under eyes because uh, I don't want them to crease too much. It's now been about 30 seconds, so I'm just gonna go in and blend out my concealer. Oh yeah, okay, it's definitely dried a bit. You know what? That is definitely giving me more coverage. Yep, I can definitely vouch that that works. That is genius. I'm just quickly gonna set like the majority of my face. You can definitely still see that highlighter. I'm just gonna put a bit of brow gel through my brows because it's annoying me how flat they look. Still not a fan of those eyebrows, I'm sorry. <laughs> so next up we have a trick from Chloe and Cosmetics. She is also super talented. This is on Twitter and she has said, using the same lipstick for cream blush as an eyeshadow primer when you're using reds and pinks. Make sure makeup tones all match and looks really cute. I have decided that I'm gonna use one of Jeffree's liquid lipsticks because I know for a fact that these are eye safe. This is the shade Mannequin. I'm gonna put it on my lips, I'm gonna use it as my cream blush and I'm gonna put it on my eyelids. I haven't used this shade in ages, but oh my God, these used to be my favorite. I think I just overlined my lips a bit too much, but it's fine. Um, So I didn't like fully set my cheek area. I'm gonna take some of the lipstick and just put it on the back of my hand. Then I'm taking my blush brush. Oh my God, I'm actually kind of really scared. Actually, I should probably have used a different blush brush because this one is covered in blush already. It's a little bit tricky to blend, but it is definitely working. This side is accidentally a bit more pink because I think a lot of the product from my blush brush was coming off on it, but that definitely worked. I'm just gonna add a little bit more bronzer because I think I am lacking slightly. Mm, I should have definitely done that before the cream blush. I forgot how pinky it actually is. So this might look a little bit like I've got pink eye, but I'm gonna use it as my eyeshadow base. Oh wow, okay, a little bit goes a long way. Okay, you know what, that color doesn't look too bad. It's not what I would normally go for on my eyelids, but well, it definitely works. So I'm then just gonna go in with my extra spice palette. I'm taking the shade Mulled Wine, and I'm gonna see how the eyeshadows kind of sit over the top of this. Oh wow, okay, it kind of works like a sticky concealer base. The eyeshadows just really stick to it. That's actually a really cool trick though. If you are wanting your, you know, all your shades to match up, definitely works on my eyes. And I've got really sensitive eyes, so I was kind of expecting that it was gonna like burn or sting or feel weird, but my eyes feel absolutely fine. Oh God, okay, maybe it does look a little bit like I've got pink eye. And then just take in the shade every day. Well, this definitely isn't my best eyeshadow look, but it will do for now. Then I'm just gonna use Reputation as my eyeliner. I've just realized that I forgot to do a hack before I put my lipstick on. Tish Tash on Twitter said, plumping your lips with an eyelash curler. I've got an eyelash curler, but I've already put my lipstick on. I'm gonna try it with the top of my lipstick and see if you can see a difference. Uh, uh okay, what the hell? You know what, I need to take my lipstick off for this. 
Okay, my lips are a little bit chapped and dry at the moment, but hopefully we'll be able to see a difference. So I'm taking my lash curler and literally like putting my lip in it. This is probably not safe. And then just squeezing it a few times. Oh my God, this feels so weird. I'm guessing it's so all the blood like comes to the front of your lips. Ew. Um, I think it is kind of working, but now I've just got this big line across my top lip. I think it is actually working. What do you guys think? Do my lips look bigger? They feel a bit swollen. I'm just gonna fill in my lips. So obviously I have just overlined them, but I actually think that has made my lips more plump. However, I probably would not recommend it because it's a little bit painful. And also this is only gonna probably last about 10 minutes, but they definitely do feel a bit more swollen. I need more powder. Also, oh my God, I never went back in with more highlighter. Where have I got, what, what, what is this? This final hack comes from Emily Salvatore on Instagram. And she said, if you put Vaseline on your lashes before mascara, they look wispy. I have never thought to do this before, putting Vaseline under my mascara. So that's what I'm doing today. I've got my little pot of Vaseline. You'll be happy to know that I'm not using the one that's like 20 years old that I have in my cupboard. Um, but I'm putting some Vaseline on my eyelashes. I'm just gonna do my top lashes in case they smudge. And then I'm taking my massive Diego Dalla Palma mascara. Oh God, I've just got it all over my eyelid. Um, I think it's just making the mascara a little bit more clumpy. Oh God, this one isn't working for me. It's just making my lashes clump together a lot more. If it works for you, great. But for me, my lashes are just looking too clumpy. Oh God, this is a mess. I don't know if I did something wrong there, but that just didn't really work for me. My lashes just went quite a bit more clumpy than normal and it was a bit of a mess. And this is the finished look. Um, there definitely were a few things that worked, um, but there was also a few things that I'm not the biggest fan of. I think the eyebrows are just massively throwing me off because they're so big and dark. What do you guys think? It was definitely interesting to try some new hacks. I'm now just gonna answer a question of the day. If you guys have got any questions for me as usual, leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day. Today's question comes from Tickaboo, Tickaboo. And they have said, hi Soph, would you ever consider getting an editor and why or why not? Love your videos, by the way. Thank you. So I haven't up to this point, just because I'm quite picky. I don't know, also as well, I am not very good at giving notice as in, a lot of the time I will film, edit and upload on the same day and I don't know if an editor could handle that. It would probably be quite stressful because I'm not the most organized of people. However, um, I definitely do want to try and train James to edit because he did do media A level and he knows like a little bit of how to edit. So I kind of want to train him um, and he can help me edit my videos. That would be really helpful. So maybe in the future, I don't know. Right, I'm going to leave this here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this a thumbs up. Hope you have a good weekend um, considering the circumstances. If you have any fun weekend plans, let me know down below in the comments um, and any like fun things that you suggest for doing inside that you can do like either by yourself or over Skype or with your family and that is it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!